Molly O'Toole. We know, or at least we think we know, that Jamie escaped from Colden, but so did a lot of other people. How did you know the Slayer is Jamie? Because of the Dunbonnet bit. What about the Dunbonnet? The Dunbonnet. The dull brown bonnet, right? He had to wear a hat all the time because he had hair that could be recognized. Didn't you say that the English knew him as Red Jamie? They knew he had red hair, so he had to hide it. You could be right. Jamie's hair was just like yours. I know. I was thinking of that when I was reading. I was trying to see him, you know. And I could. Out there in the heather. Hiding. The sun shining off his hair. You said he'd been an outlaw. I just thought he must have known pretty well how to hide if people were trying to kill him. Right. Okay, that's more or less a job of guesswork, but we can tell for sure with a little more work. If we can find a league of the castle on a map... I thought of that. that. That's why I was so late. I made the clerk drag out every map of the highlands they had. See? It's so tiny it doesn't show up on most maps, but this one had it. Right there. There's the village of Brock Morna, which Mama says is near the Lollybrock estate. And there, see? He went back to his estate. Lollybrock. And that's where he hid. Okay, not having magnifying glass at hand, I'll just have to take your word for it that that says the of the castle. But congratulations, I think you found it. This far, at least. Yeah. My father. If you have your father's hair, it's nice to see that you have your mother's brain. Come on, let's go celebrate your discovery of Fiona's dinner. Good job, you should be proud of yourself. Thanks. What is it, is something the matter? No. No, not really. I was just... I was just thinking, or trying to imagine. What do you think it was like for him? Living in a cave for seven years. And then what happened? I honestly don't know. But hopefully we're about to find out. Yeah. I'm Molly O'Toole and I'm 5'7".